the church has a bad history of highlighting the good gifts, the noticeable, powerful gifts, right? The spiritual gifts of, okay, your, your prophecy. So here's prophecy. And what we do is we gravitate to prophecy. Ooh, he got the gift. He read my mail. He's so talented. This is how church should be. Everybody should prophesy. Well, Paul said should. We should, right? All right. And he's got the gift of miracles and, and healing. And God uses him in healing. And he's this gift of healing. And what do we do? Ooh, come on, say it with me. Ooh, come on. You know, wow, right? And he's got the gift of helps, right? And she's got the gift of service. And she's got the gift of mercy, right? Guys, come on over here. You guys, I want you guys over here. You're not as a special. In fact, I want you to step back a little bit. Get, get back here. You know, you're behind the scenes anyway. Nobody needs to see your faces. They're the faces. Oh, ooh, let's anoint them. Come on. Right? Sadly, I'm being, I'm, I'm being silly, but this is what the church, what we've done, what charismatic churches have done. We've, ooh, over this and hmm, over that. That's not Bible. That's not Bible. That's not Holy Spirit. Instead of us separating and applauding, you do, this is, this is Holy Spirit gifting. Come here. Come here, you three. I want you to go in between. Jasmine, get on that side of Gary. Rebecca, get on this side. Here we go. They're integrated. Lock arms. They're integrated. You got the service gifts, the communication, the power gifts, the communication gifts. This is what the body should look like together. And the Holy Spirit is the one who distributes the gifts as he desires. So he'll do this. Hey, I know you flow on um, prophecy more, but I want this guy to prophesy over someone right now. Oh, miracles, huh? Hey, I need you to pick up some chairs after service. Here we go. Oh, mercy, huh? I need... <laughs> You're good. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> I saw your face and I just couldn't, couldn't help it. 